today's challenge was cooking against a celebrity chef. Um, didn't know who it was going to be. Turned out to be Sean Bristol, who I've actually cooked um, a dish for before, because he set a challenge the very first elimination round last year. He's a really nice guy, but it was a very harrowing experience the last time because I actually broke a tool from that challenge. Today the, the um, core ingredient was eggs, so we had to make eggs the hero of our, our dish. Uh, I made a quiche, which is an egg pie, I suppose. Um, it, it's got a lot of other flavours in it, so I'm not sure whether or not I'll consider eggs to be the hero of the dish or not. I love today's challenge. Martin Boats is one of my sort of icon chefs. Uh, his, his restaurant, Long Grain, is one of my all-time favourite Thai restaurants in the country. And I just love what he does with food. And to cook next to him is just amazing. I think it's good to do these challenges with professional chefs because I think we're sort of made to look like um, clowns a lot of the time because of the parameters that we have to work with. So it's nice to see them have to rush around for pots and stuff like that. Yeah, this uh, Today was one of those challenges where I was not feeling the best. I just got a bit of a cold or flu thing come over me. And um, I was actually going to pull out at the start of the day but because I thought we were just going to be cooking individually and I thought, yeah, I'll just take it and go through to the elimination round. But then when I saw Vincent standing there and all these other people that have put you know, a lot of time and effort to be here, I thought, oh, no, I can't miss this and, and thought I'd give it a bit of a go. Today's challenge was actually a lot of fun in regards to the thrill of having so many chefs around us watching what they do. Mind you, I didn't get to watch that much because I was focusing on what I was doing. But it's just a real pleasure just to have all of these people you look up to so much. I mean, these are the people that um, inspired me to come onto this show. Yeah. So to have them all in one room was just spectacular. When I think of Philip Sibley, I think of amazing desserts, you know, sort of French pastry, all that sort of stuff. And the furthest thing possible away from that with, for me was Thai. And so I was kind of hoping for the judges, you know, chalk and cheese and make it really hard for them to choose. I was cooking against Alessandro from Amaji at the spit and I had cooked against him in an immunity challenge last year and we drew actually so today's gonna be interesting there's been a lot of chat about um, my um, competitor today Darren uh, and his uh, hotness um, I wasn't dazzled by his um, golden boy looks um, but I was dazzled by his golden food because it was fantastic I kind of did a bit of a crazy thing and went for desserts going against, you know, probably one of the greatest dessert makers in the country. Uh, but I kind of felt like I couldn't cheat myself out of this experience and do something different. You know, if, if I've got Darren Purchase there, I feel like I've got to do desserts. Today was one of those once-in-a-lifetime opportunities, cooking in a room full of 12 of the best Australian chefs, and I happen to be next to my favourite, so it doesn't really get better than that.